Hey, sorry technology. Uh, let's wait for Kapano to join from their end. I think something is wrong. Oh, so they're here. Yay. They waved at me. Uh, Kapano, you have to request to join the live and I will say yes to the request. Yes. Yes. And uh, right, what is going on? Technology. Techn. Oh wow. Okay. 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 I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I'm like visible. Oh wow. You're visible. I can see you. You're gorgeous. Oh my God. Technology. I'm gorgeous. Gloriously gorgeous. Oh wow. Hey. Technology is humbling us by you two. <laughs> Internet, like technology is like you all gonna have to chill. You're gonna have to relax. And I'm actually thinking, like, oh no, she's in her 20s, she's tech savvy, she knows. Yeah, what she's tech savvy, but you're like, let's not let's let auntie be auntie. But here we are. But here we are. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh wow. So you decided to join my side of tea drinking. I definitely did. I was like, am I going to be Gabrielle Union type? We're going to need another glass of wine. Or am I going to be soulful Saturnian auntie? Hey, the Saturnian <laughs> <laughs> Oh, thank you, Liz. Thank you, Liz. Thank you. All the beautiful people. Martia. Hi, Martia. All the good Hi, Adriana. Um... Hi, Eli. You're like, let's start dancing. But wearing out there. It looks like you're wearing anything, but here we are. Yes! Give it to the girls. Like, <laughs> I'm giving, like, I'm serving a little peekaboo in the back. Oh, wow. Look at that. Look at that outfit. Listen, we'll have our hot girl summer. Come hell or high. Summer by sports by fight. And we must have. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Hey, Nick. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome. Wow, everybody's just like, yes, okay. Yes, yeah. <laughs> For a bit of joy with our looks, like, hi, hi. <laughs> we're just serving aesthetics. We're like, we're going to serve everything. We're serving tea, we're serving poetry. That's actually what it is. It's not even about the poetry. We just came to give the girls looks. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> like, Juiciness. <laughs> So many people, nice people, love the purple. Oh, Look at the eye. <laughs> Amazing. So we will start. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you for all your comments. We appreciate and we receive them. I'm going to let uh, Kopano introduce himself. Amazing. Thank you, Adiola. So, my name is Kopano Maroha. Um, and I am a performance artist, writer, cultural worker, currently. Yeah, <laughs> so you better give me my break. <laughs> <laughs> like, take all the credit. <laughs> I'm taking all of it. Um, and I'm currently, originally from South Africa, uh, currently living in Belgium working in Ghent at uh, Kunstensensum Foret as a programmer slash curator and dramaturg. Dramaturg. <laughs> Fabulous person all right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna please take it away. Please introduce yourself. Uh, I am Adiola Naomi. I am the founder and chief of Distinguished Diva. And I am, I do so, so many things. In this capacity, I am a creative and academic, also a teacher, healer. I just love doing that. <laughs> also a little cutie pie. <laughs> Very cute. Whatever I want to be to the people that I choose to be. <laughs> I call myself intellectual arts whole. I just feel like it's... That's the package. It's like... Totally All in the same. <laughs> Plurality, intersectionality. <laughs> <laughs> we are 
to start, we're just going to start with like giving you an outline of what we want to do with you. And before that, we want to welcome you and say we appreciate your essence, your presence, your time, your energy, everything you've been giving us. We appreciate it. We are very grateful for your presence today. So we will do poetry in two stands. Also, like, if you want us to read something, just make sure that you're Google. you like, you can put your request. We're taking requests. So put your request in the comment section. We are reading poetry. That we have written why in isolation. So in all of this, you know, what's going on in the world. We don't want to have to name it because we want to bring a bit of joy today. So we will read poems, the two of us uh, that have written. So two each of us. So we go one on one and then we go back and forth. So two poem each. And then we have selected five poems from people, lovers, poets that have been keeping us grounded, that we've been reaching into the people that we've just written into the writing and their words during this period. We will introduce them if we want to and introduce their work, a, a little bit about what their work has in our lives and what we would like to share with the audience. And after that, we take questions. Do we take questions? I think questions are nice, like if there are questions. If there are questions, not like an assertion, because I'm a Sonia, so I have to be very strict. So we accept questions about our work, about our being, who we are, if you want to know anything that is appropriate, yeah, we will take it. And we're also take request poems, as long as we can find those poems online. Amazing. I feel like that was very clear. Two poems each, five poems each from lovers um, and people that have been holding us down. And then we're going to keep about 10 minutes at the end for questions and requests. Make sure your requests are Googleable. We may be magical, but <laughs> we think there's a net. So we don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I think it's appropriate for us to go to my beloved dear Pisces coin Copano to go with their first poem. Ta -da 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 -ta -ta. <laughs> <laughs> okay, do exciting. Um, so a little bit of context. So I'm currently in the final stages of editing a um, anthology of poems. Um, that was foreseen to come up later this year. <laughs> yes. um, but we know the times we're living in, so the future is a very amorphous concept and things will happen as and when they happen. Um, but yeah, so this is, this is foreseen as part of that collection. And it's, so I've been doing a kind of um, poetry um, exchange with a friend of mine, we exchange poetry, we give each other some kind of like feedback. Um, and during that process, this poem went through a huge kind of like metamorphosis um so yeah and it is entitled just enough moonlight oh wow <clears throat> one terrell elvin mccraney writes in moonlight black boys look blue and yet some of us are rainbows which means we are refractions of white light which means we exist under rainfall, born under a half noose in the ocean of the sky. Am I here? Where have I been all this time? Oh. Is there a world that exists for me that does not need me to die to become visible? Two, I had a lover once. They were beautiful. They told me I was beautiful. Sometimes I believed them. Sometimes I would make them gifts to leave at the of their bedroom door because I wasn't allowed in, because I hurt them, because I told the truth, because I know how to take instructions, because, because, because I left gifts like a cat might leave dead birds. I had so much blood in my mouth and I smiled because, because, because maybe they would see me, maybe I would be able to carry on living as though I had not become nameless. Three. Maybe I was never a person, but a rainbow, which would explain why I was always disappearing. Four, I can almost laugh about it now. 
or maybe I'm crying upside down. Marco. Five. I had a loved one. Sometimes they wouldn't let me touch them. Sometimes six. I'm sorry. I had a loved one. They were beautiful. I was there. I am no longer anywhere. I am somewhere old becoming new. It rains here often. I kissed a boy once in the rain in the new old place with its old new things. He is so sad. We sat by the ocean. I read him a poem. I didn't finish it. Both got sick. This is not a fairy tale. I buy him sunflowers. He makes me mixtapes. He makes art and in it I am there. A metaphor. But I don't mind. I hold his hand. We disappear. Eight. I don't think about rainbows. I don't think at all. Sometimes I can feel him shaking through the fabric of his shirt. I put my hand on his cheek. Oh no. We are both very sad. He tells me things, tell him things too. He never asks for anything, which makes me want to give him everything. I am not afraid of him. This is new for me. I kiss him like there is a sparrow sleeping under his tongue. He's so beautiful with his eyes closed. Tonight, I miss the train. He waited at the station. He kisses me and the sun comes out and we run out of words and everything is tender. This is not a fairy tale. Inside, I am yellow. Outside, I am blue. The moon is shining softly. Wow. So this is where we cry, right? <laughs> The part we've all been waiting for. This is the part where we start crying, right? <laughs> <laughs> so I just live now, in a of crying. I never start, I never finish. I'm just forever weeping. <laughs> wow, all that Pisces energy, Lord. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, stop. <laughs> <laughs> we are not okay, seriously. That was beautiful. Thank you. Uh, why am I taking the role of the host? <laughs> you better take control, Capricorn. You better hug. You better hug. <laughs> uh, wow. Oh, thank you, Chris. Thank you. Well, well we really appreciate uh... <laughs> Well, Queen, over to you. Please take us away with your words. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I wrote this actually. I just we starting and I've been reading people's work. And let's just say that I write poetry, but I'm I fear my words in terms of poetry. Very short and concise because I'm a Capricorn, but they scare me because I don't intellectualize. That's the place where it's just feeling, mm. and I'm just like I don't want to feel. I'm not a Pisces. What is all this? <laughs> What is this mess? <laughs> but I'm taking the courage this, uh, like just now to share more of my work. So I've been sharing a lot with my best friend who's also a poet. And she's just like, you need to just share your work more. So this is actually the first time anybody else who is not my best friend will hear any poem that I've written. And it's me getting out of my comfort zone, but also not wanting to interact it anymore. And just things like... So we go. Uh, open heart. They can be easily broken. Open art. They can also nurture. Open heart can heal the past pain. Open art is like a ocean roulette. I pain of heart. And I know they can't be forgotten. But I am certain by the ecstatic joy of opening my heart to something. Someone new. Something new. Every single time. The first touch, the first kiss, the first glance, the first time my heart flutters at the sound of their voice, I am open. <laughs> and I'm going to hide. Bye. No! <laughs> mm, I love you. Thank you. <laughs> Stop crying. <laughs> okay. Oh, thank you for that. I think it's it's exactly like you say. Like 
the like the the power of poetry is that like it forces forces you away from the intellectualization and forces you into the feeling place mm -hmm. which is like and you can't lie like there's nothing for you. <laughs> there's no academic it's honestly you can only be and you can always tell when it's not when it doesn't come from that place mm -hmm. so yo oh, thank you for that thank you thank you love you all Listen, says triple water, Pisces sun, Cancer moon, Cancer rising. I'm out here extracting. <laughs> so we're gonna go back to Capano. Give us the next poem from you. Aye, 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 aye. <clears throat> so this was written, I think, about a year ago. And it was one of those, like, I don't know if you have this, but like, sometimes I'll write something and I'm like, this is nothing. So I'm going to put it in a, in a drawer to never see the light of day again. Um, and then I started putting together this um, anthology. Um, and I think I was just like trawling through my drive because that's where I keep all my poems in my Google Drive. And I came across, I didn't have a, a title at the time. And I was like, oh, <laughs> you know, and it was just like, yep. Yeah, those <laughs> moments, those <laughs> So yeah, this, this is one of those. And another one of those poems that I've been sharing with my friend, uh, Cullen, in this uh, poetry exchange that we've been doing. Um, so a lot of these poems, their structure and in their kind of like feeling, mm -hmm. all lots to Cullen McClear. You can find him on Instagram, also a poet, artist, fantastic human being. Um, so yeah, thank you. And he's not in the, I don't see him in the, in the audience tonight, but yeah, he's an amazing person. <clears throat> If I don't ask, you need not to. I thought I could get away with this. If you close your eyes at the precise moment of a car crash and everything make it out alive, I thought I could get away with this. Memory is the closest thing we have to human cryopreservation. We, who should be halfway to colonizing Mars by now, we who were promised flying cars by the Jetsons and now can barely make it up in the mornings to wade through what it is that we have done here. Mm -hmm. If I close my eyes after everything was said and done, maybe there would be less pills on my kitchen counter, less pages going over with why, 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 why. I promise there is a world in which we didn't even see each other. I promise there is a world in which we were only good to one another. I promise. There is a world in which I sleep through the night and you never left and I never yelled and nothing broke and there's no scar tissue and we are not still mending. I promise it is not this one. Wow. Me, I want to cry. And we all know that I don't cry like that. So I'm so... <laughs> Tears are not for this one, not for this Saturnian auntie. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Wow, wow, wow. I mean, I've been getting good of the anthology because someone is here with me. And it's amazing. I can't wait to see the physical manifestation. I can't wait. I'm so excited. Oh no, Max, dear, don't cry, but also do cry. <laughs> The <laughs> Saturnian is crying, so I feel like yes, yeah, crying. So it's allowed <laughs> at this point. Okay, I'm gonna go to my next one and last one, and it's Please. why. Um, it's also something my best friend has been the only one that been this. Actually, just want to share it now with all of you. The her the earth is red, red like the bloodshed. The blood shed by the negligence and distrust. There will be judgment. There will be blood. There will be tears. Revolution is steeped in agony, in tears, in death, and excruciating pain. Is it worth? I know now that freedom is worth every blood. So may the blood shed be the foundation. Ration. <laughs> You're like I'm not going for any war. Leave me alone. <laughs> Thank you.
Yeah, thank you. This is beautiful poetry in isolation. I'm crying, but I'm wearing the glasses so that I don't cry, but that's not working. Oh, it's not. <laughs> oh, wow. thank you. Queen, do you want to start with our selection? Um, yeah, because I'm just tired of hearing my own voice. So. <laughs> oh, wow. Um, so I chose. I'm African lover. All the people shot that I choose it are African poets, African women, African non-binary folk, and queer. I'm gonna go with my first and like these are not favorite things, but so this is Ijioma uh, Umebenyo. They are a beautiful Nigerian woman, Igbo woman specifically, and I feel like every time I reach for the words when I'm not okay, when I'm okay, when I have joy, when I need joy, when I need love, when I have love, it's everything. And I have selected the first piece. It's interesting. <laughs> wow, look, I'm like that auntie with bookmarks. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Uh, so glasses, everything. <laughs> yeah, literally. Uh, the book is called Question for Ada. Ada in Igbo is for or just you call any uh, woman, girl, Ada. And we go. Uh, she is carrying herself into her back, remaining, renaming herself, finding her tongue. She is woven out of soft skin. She is clinging to water. And that is the first one from Ijioma. <laughs> yes, Questions for Ada is such a beautiful book. It's I, one of the things that I love about them and about the book itself is it takes you through various emotions. Like there are poems in the book where I'm like, this needs a trigger word because it is violence, but also poetry is very violent in some way because it brings out the honesty in you as a poet, but also to the reader themselves, to see themselves through a lens to look into. So yeah, you should look her up. It's called Question Ada. Yeah, this is how it looks. So I got the, this is the cover. So let's go to my beautiful Neptunian queen. <laughs> Neptunian <laughs> nephew. <laughs> Queen, nephew, empress, all the nice stuff. <laughs> so my first selection um, is an amazing, amazing writer, artist, thinker, speaker, truths, builder of worlds, um, Maneo Mohale. Hey, and they are this call. I can see them. I can see them. Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> no, but Monel is, is a fierce mind, one of the kind of fiercest literary voices coming out in South Africa right now. Um, I'll read a little bit of their bio. Manel Rithilwe Moale was born in 1992 in Benoni, South Africa. <clears throat> their, their work has appeared in Yalada, Proofrock, The New York Times, The Mail Guardian, Spectrum.za, and others. They are a 2016 Bitch Media Global Feminism Follow and has fellow and has been long listed twice for the Soul Blikey European Union Poetry Award. After living in Canada for five years, they now live in Johannesburg, where they work as an editor and writer. This is their first book. <laughs> and the book that I'm reading from is called Everything is a Deathly Flower. For folks that are um, watching this from Gurb, you can um, order it online at africanbookcollectives.com. Um, and it's a beautiful, so what, what Manoa did was um, they were writing about um, a really kind of moment in their life that took place. Um, and they did this beautiful thing where they used the image um, these flowers um, as a metaphor to think through the, the unopening and the violence that happened to them to write through it. Um, and the poem that I'll be reading from is called Gazania, the Treasure Flower. 
Uh, I read this at our, the performance of Spheres in Circle, Circles and Spheres with Isaiah Lopez. Um, yeah, so this is Gazania, Treasure Flower. <clears throat> I am looking for the exit. I am looking for my stomach's voice. I am looking for Mkhon. I am looking for her twisted feet. I am looking for the door above it. I am looking for her iron cross. I am looking for Catholic sheep. I am looking for thick ankled sky. I am looking for a railway. I am looking for his soapy arm. I am looking for a remedy. I am looking for the dream. I am looking for it soaked in snakes. I am looking for my blood's message. I am looking for my country's I'm looking for the night mountain. I'm looking for her flooding wounds. I'm looking for answers. I'm looking for my tongue again. I am looking for rancid prophecy. I am looking for revenge. I'm looking for a blade now. I'm looking for the words splitting my spine. I am looking for my lover's teeth. I am looking for their tongues again. I'm looking for a seed. I'm looking for the lizard in my name. I am looking for betrayal. I am looking for a sterile light. I am looking for the word eating my eye. I am looking for the backwards river. I am looking for my gender now. I am looking for its burial. I am looking for the dead. I am looking for the deathless pool. I am looking baradibaka. I am looking for the yellowed men. I am looking for my fever's birth. I'm looking for Utabute. I'm looking for blood. I'm looking for burnt women. I'm looking underneath me. I'm looking at the way they left. I'm looking for the moaning. I'm looking for a sweeter sh I'm looking for the dogs and why they speak my name in January. I'm looking for my mother, for the mound and its only reason. I'm looking for my sugared mouth now open again for another. We, we 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 met a year ago i just wanted to put that like intermission because i'm about to cry and in march oh, march 1st when we did square and circle circles and square that was march 1st no yeah it was march 1st was the beginning of black history month yeah so it was on the 1st of march and uh Cupano's solo was written this Right. And I was sitting there where co where co creator of this beautiful performance by Rockers, and I was listening to this poem and crying uncontrollable tears. So I want to say so much to my mail for this beautiful work, the, the beautiful art piece, beautiful just honesty, but also beautiful work. I have to cry again. <laughs> But yeah, so I don't know. I just feel like the healing, where every word in the, to my heart in ways that I can't articulate because of the things that it brings to me. So I'm really, yeah. And it's also really an honor to have Anel on the live with us. So thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Manel. We love you. <laughs> We are really like. <laughs> We're like, let us drag ourselves. Hurtling. <laughs> At a rapid pace. Wow. So I'm going to read from Sacraments of Body by Romeo Oriogo, an African poet theory. It's actually launched earlier this year, and I'm going to read their bio. Uh, Romeo Oriogun was born in Lagos, Nigeria. He is the author of The Child Born Man, The Origin of Butterfly and the of Silence. He was the winner of the 2017 Bruno Af International African Prize, has received fellowship from Harvard University English Department, 
the Arts Protection Fund, Oregon Institute for Creative Research, and Fashion Institute of African and African American Research. He lives in Iowa. Who lives there? <laughs> Somebody's son lives there. <laughs> Where he is an MFA candidate for Poetry Iowa Right Workshop. So this book, I mean, when I picked up this book, so he was supposed to send me this book and I was supposed to pay with my own money to buy this book. But as the classic Gemini that he is, that never happened. And me as the classic Capricorn that I am, I bought the book by myself. And he was like, why did you buy the book? I was like, well. <laughs> uh, so I just very, I think, I like Dragon Geminis, but let's be honest. They're amazing. <laughs> Let's be honest. We love all the Gemini. We love, we love all the Gemini. I feel the like Gemini safe space. Exactly. It's beautiful the way his words word revolves around mental health and love and compassion, but also around being gay, being Nigerian gay, being someone who lives in the and what that means and how to navigate all of that. Every time I read it, I'm just like, I'll go back. To it. I live it. I go my heart, my chest. But then I also go back to it. So I think that that's what I want to read this poem. I do not want my buddy to fly. Mm. The sound of water running downhill is a lover in tears. I do not understand the sound, of the sins of living, but survival is an intimately. My head away from your eyes, searching for me behind sunglasses. Here you are, copy, creating a lake for my past lives. I want to be my story, so I have all the handings. It is a self to behold God, your buddy, and call his name only in the heart, only when shot behind you. That's what I've done with your love. Do you still see clouds? has water so pure, angels' wings were deep in it before they could think Ozana. I told you I'm scared of burning. I do not know enough to see the moment a man gives up for life. I told you I'm scared of burning because a burning man is so bright. It brings everything into the eyes of God. Remember the first time we met in the sun of red earth? I watched you wear your sweatshirt. All I wanted to do was watch forever like god waking up every morning to watch this because we're all to vanity because skies are magic i told you about the man who walked on me. i am sorry that was not the story here's the on the day he found water he found my buddy i was full of grief i was searching for my mother the painting on the wall the door was he searched for me a window. Okay, I promise to tell the truth. He pushed me to his hand placed the sky without the sun under my feet. He laughed when I ran away. Do you know the room where thunder lives? Last night after you left, I dreamt my blood was a dry river. You didn't want me. the truth is you called me a poor cursed. And that's how I understood love, a kind of punishment. What do you say to a always flying? Do not cry. Home will not be enough for me. The truth is always housed with many windows. I wanted you to hold my hands, blocked out every fear, leave me wild and whole because I do not want my body to die from your eyes. I want the risk of birth. I want to know or down. Here you are, in a way again. I am sorry. We speak different languages. I am going to watch you. And what in your this is also the need to touch memories and see in my tears a lover. What? Oh. Yes. The imagery. I know. What was that, that, that line about, 
I don't want to be a burning man because a burning man shines so bright. Yeah. Bro. Yeah. I dreamt my blood was a dried out riverbed. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I know. I know. I know. He is brilliant. I, I know. I'm just like, okay, this is a lot, but you guys are intense and brilliant. Romeo God. <laughs> <laughs> Romeo, yeah, exactly. Hey, well, but no one is ready. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't understand, but I confirm and I affirm that. <laughs> oh my God, where can where can folks find uh, Romeo's uh, poetry? Uh, Romeo's book is available, I think, African poetry. You can find it online, but also, uh, wait, I think they have it on their Instagram bio. Yeah, so you can you should find on Instagram. Try to look for Romeo or Rio. It's O R. I O G O N, and it's no. like the you know the Romeo. <laughs> you know what? What I'm gonna actually do is in my story, I'm gonna share the books. Yeah, I'll do the same. I'll share the books that I share in this live so people can have that. Amazing. Perfect. Yeah, this book is like full of things that collect. My Sacrament heart. of bodies, though. That title. That I know. Sacrament. Of bodies. I was just like, first of all, title. Second of all, imagery. Look at picture. Aye, 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 guys. <laughs> People can't be like this. <laughs> it is well. <laughs> and the Lord said, <laughs> it's well. We're gonna go into gospel if I'm not gonna collect them and say, so share your next one. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. I'm going to go into my next poet, um, Jericho Brown, a huge, huge favorite of mine. Um, in their bio, uh, Jericho Brown is the recipient of a Whiting Writers Award and of fellowships from the John Simon Guggenheim Foundation, the Radcliffe Institute for Advanced Study at Harvard University, and the National Endowment for the Arts. His poems have appeared in the Republic the New York Times, The New Yorker, and the Best American Poetry Anthologies. His first book, Please, won the American Book Award. His second book, The New Testament, won the Annisfield Wolf Book Award. He serves as a poetry editor for The Believer. He is an associate professor of English and creative writing and the director of the creative writing program at Emory University in Atlanta. And he's also just a thotty on Twitter. So ah, well <laughs> I mean, the intellectual art hole here. Intellectual is... art hole, thotty, and a daddy. <laughs> a he's daddy. a father. Hey, daddy. Okay, okay. No, but he's a really, like, a really, um, just a luminary, luminary um, writer from North America, writing at the intersection of black and queerness, um, and just yeah. incredible, but also a thotty, so extra. <laughs> This is really important. <laughs> and this poem is from the New Testament, which is his second book, um, which is kind of like looking at the intersections of, I think it really complements Romeo's book because it's also looking at blackness, queerness, and this kind of like holiness or like looking at religiosity through a kind of like queer black lens, which I am all about. Um, yes. So this is the first poem in the, in the collection and it's called Coliseum. <clears throat> I don't remember how I hurt myself, the pain mine, long enough for me to lose the wound that invented it. As none of us knows the beauty of our own eyes until a man tells us they are why God made brown. In that same man says, he lives to touch the smoothest parts, suggesting surface area can be understood by degrees of satin. Him I will follow until I am as rough outside as I am with you. I cannot locate the origin of sleep, but I know how my own feels, that I live with it and sometimes use it to get the living done, because I am what gladiators call a man in love, love being any reminder we survived. Mm. 
Wow. I feel like we're doing the most. <laughs> so, wow. I'm tired of us. So let's just go because we have no time. <laughs> we will continue to my next poem so that we can give you people to talk to us because Instagram will cut the video at an hour. So we have to go now. Whew. So this is from Salt. Oh, I know, I know. So, I feel like because she's so incredible, and I want to believe that you all know who he is, is the incredible poet who deserves all the accolades in the world. Love to be the poet of the decade, of the century, if it's possible. Fuck a rupee cow. Fuck a rupee cow. <laughs> on this one because stealing from a black woman is never gonna be okay with me ever 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 and then winning an award on a work that you stole from a black woman mm -mm. so we're putting it out there this is very political at this point but it's okay <laughs> that the year we said what we said we said what we said salt is a fave and we go to salt every time so i wanted to read this part the release Decolonization requires acknowledging that your needs and desires should never come at the expense of another's life's energy. It is being honest that you have been spoiled by a machine that is not feeding you, but feeding the pain. Boom. The relief. And you know, like the thing about Nayira that really gets me is like, I really feel like she was the progenitor of this kind of like, that kind of like Instagram, Twitter yeah. Yeah. movement that Rupi Kaur is getting so much acknowledgement for. And I'm sorry, but like the way in which Rupi has interpreted it is so reductive. And just like the amount, of, like the amount of bleh, that <laughs> Nigeria can like into like four or five lines, I'm like, I wish a bitch could be that prolific. I, <laughs> I wish. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like there is just a lot of, I don't know what to call it, but uh, erasure and silencing that come with what is happening and the way the mainstream has embraced Rupi. Ignore that Nigeria, ignore that this type of poetry was created and birthed and telling us that Rupi is making poetry. I'm like, when? Like, I don't see it. So, Nayura Wahid forever, salt is a fave, and please do get it. I'm going to share more. And yeah, go. That's on period. 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. I'm going to read um, a poem by you. This one, this one is a problem because wow, wow. Um, My heart is like pounding but <laughs> no they're truly like a favorite of mine um this ocean bar <clears throat> and they are a vietnamese american poet um born outside saigon in 1988 and at the age of two after yeah they were born there after a year in a refugee camp he and his family arrived in the u.s he is the first in his immediate family to learn how to read recently a ruth lily fellow and winner of a pushcart prize he has received honors and awards from Poets House and the Academy of American Poets. Night Sky Exit Wounds won the Whiting Award, the Tom Gunn Award, and the 2017 Forward Prize for Best First Collection, Ocean Bond Lives in Massachusetts. Mm. Um, <clears throat> so this is their collection, Night Sky with Exit Wounds. The poem that I will be reading, uh, it was like, I was so torn. I was, there are two that like have really been like, lifting me through this moment. Yeah. I think I'm going to go with Someday I'll Love Ocean Bomb. Oh. <clears throat> Ocean, don't be afraid. The end of the road is so far ahead, it is already behind. Don't worry. Your father is only your father until one of you forgets. 
like how the spine won't remember its wings no matter how many times our knees kiss the pavement. Ocean, are you listening? The most beautiful part of your body is wherever your mother's shadow falls. Here's the house with childhood whittled down to a single red trip wire. Don't worry, just call it horizon and you'll never reach it. Here's today, jump. I promise it's not a lifeboat. Here's the man whose arms are wide enough to gather your leaving and here the moment just after the lights go out when you can still see the faint port torch between your legs. How you use it again and again to find your own hands. You asked for a second chance and are given a mouth to empty out of. Don't be afraid. The gunfire is only the sound of people trying to live a little longer and failing. Ocean, ocean get the most beautiful part of your body is where it's headed. And remember, loneliness is still time spent with the world. Here's the room with everyone in it. Your dead friends passing through you like wind through a wind chime. Here's a desk with the gimp leg and a brick to make it last. Yes, here's a room so warm and blood close. I swear you awake and take these walls for skin. Amazing. Oh my God. So I just wanted to come in and say that because Instagram is going to cut it, we will come back if we don't finish. So we'll just come back and you join the life again. Okay. We have five minutes, so I'm going to read the next poet that I have seen. I'm a lover of African women, so I have chosen Ukule Chizala. Uh, Ukule Chizala is a Malawian storyteller. She is the author of poetry and prose, soft magic and nectar. Born and raised in Zomba, Malawi, her poem, Hope is to tell stories from the margin. She lives and studies in Oxford where she continues to write poetry. Uh, this is from Salt. Uh, sorry, Soft Magic. I was like, Salt, I was back to Nayura Wahid, apparently, see my life. Uh, consider this your body is a blessing where it curves, sags, wrinkles, where it was scarred, burned, touched. All of this is a map of your life. Your body is memory, sweet, some sad, but memory nonetheless. Your soul is in a house of stories. Your body. I know. <laughs> He's like. <laughs> 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 Emotional mess. <laughs> oh, the poetry is just, it's just so good. It's just a good thing. <laughs> it's like the one last It's good. like this is one good part of literature. <laughs> oh, thank you for that. Um, I'm going to move on to my second last poet. Um, their name is Kaveh Akbar. Um, they're a huge, huge fan an Iranian American poet um, and this collection of theirs calling a wolf a wolf oh, um, is really a kind of oh, it's so much but like it, it starts from the kind of um, inspiration of he, he, he is a recovering alcoholic and writes from that kind of like position mm -hmm. um, but also like it filters into like addiction alcoholism um, sexuality um his kind of like re trying to retrace his kind of like um ancestry to his Iranian roots, his loss of his language, not being able to um Farsi. Um so it's just like it's many things. Um and he writes the lyricality is just like um so yeah a, a huge huge thing. Um and this one is called Stop Me if you've heard this one before. <clears throat> I can't even remember my name. I, who remember so much, football scores, magic tricks, deep love so close to God, it was practically religious. When you fall asleep in that sort of love, you wake up with bruises on your neck. Mm -hmm. 
I don't have drunk sirs. I have adventures. Every day, my body follows me around asking for things. I try to think louder, I try to be brilliant, wildly brilliant. We all want the same thing. To walk in sincere wonder like the first man to hear a man speak. But we live on an enormous flatness floating between two oceans. Mm. Sometimes you just have to leave whatever's real to you. You have to clump through fields and kick the cap of all the toadstools. Sometimes you have to march all the way to Galilee or the literal foot of God himself before you realize you've already passed the place where you were supposed to die. Mm. I can no longer remember the being afraid, only that it came to an end. Okay, I don't want this to come to an end. <laughs> so, I want to read my last poem. It's actually my best friend's poem. <laughs> yeah, it's the best for last. I'm like, let's take it to the family. Let's take it home. So, I'm Afangade, and she is a writer, she's a lawyer, and philosopher. She likes to think that she is. I mean, I, I'm trying to get her name the way I have like intellectual art, stuff, but I don't know. We'll see. And this poem that she wrote, she sent it to me. It's something that I needed at the time to remind me about what is going on in my life. It's called The Sensual Woman. She moves slowly, takes her time to really enter a space. She's not careless but her vibe is cannot be murdered. A soft gaze reserved for lovers, a stern gaze for all. Her love is not unconditional. She makes no apology. Fuel by two parts love, at rage, her hair holds mystery, her hips hold mystery. She is not to be possessed. She is not your meal. She is not your meal. She is not your meal. She will not be your salvation. She will not be your rehabilitation. She will not be your expectation. She is her body is hurt to own. Intellect first to enjoy. She belongs to herself. Enjoy her while you can. She will not be here for long. Enjoy it while you can, because she ain't staying. Like she not staying, so you might enjoy it take care of the time that you have with her yeah yeah uh so do we go to your last poem and then come back for question it's better yeah i think that's nice you can sure. go to my poem and then sure. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. so this is a poem from sam Sachs, um queer jewish american uh poets from his collection, Bury It. Um, and this is Gay Boys and the Bridges Who It is not the fall exactly, not the crash either, the swallow, the life flashing backwards behind the dark screen of the eyes, the water rising up to meet you. No, it is not what drove your body here like a stolen car, why you abandoned it on this unreasonable ledge. Not why you dove in, salt wind singing its perfect punctuation. It is not the city stretching out before you, waving its startled steel hands. It is not the last man who turned you down or turned you out or turned the camera on. It is not the six seconds between here and impact, though each is its own poem. It is not how the body overflows like a dammed river into its ocean. The shopping mall of chemicals doing their patient and awful sorting. Not the suit of clothing decided to die in. The wrinkled cotton jacket and its wet lineage. The necktie and its flawless knot. It's not even the difference between being pushed and choosing to leave. No, it is the wreckage spilling from the wreckage. It is the light throwing its last shade. Okay, I'm in my emotions and my feelings because we have. Thank you so much for sharing that. That's just so beautiful. Thank you. 
I am going to end this live and then re-enter for question and answers and for us to be like, hey, we're back. <laughs> so please join us next to our ASAP. See you soon. We are back. Okay, poetry in isolation Q and A. Hi. So we're back for the question and answer and request part of this. Uh, live with Copano. I'm waiting for Copano to join and yeah Hey Liz <laughs> Hello, hello, hello <laughs> Yeah, so you guys can start by sending us your request we are also taking requests for poems so if you want us to read something yes Copano is here join us waiting for Copano connecting and we're back hey I love this energy give it to them <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so that was five poems from each of us, seven in total. We have two individual poems that we have written in this period of isolation. And five. <laughs> Hello, whoever is there, hi. <laughs> like, oh, no, we're not done. He just came back. So now we're taking question and answer. So ask us questions. We are open and willing, as we have said in one of our poems, we're open to be honest with you all and answer your questions. So let us know. I think I saw in the comments. Yeah. Yes. Um, there was mine. Yeah. Julianne Viger. She sent, she sent a poem okay. um, of hers, I think. Oh, amazing. Yes, she did. It's, it's hers. Um, is Julianne here? I think people are still joining one by one. People are joining. Maybe, yeah. so maybe, maybe we, we, maybe we wait and we see if she joins and then yeah. I can read that. Let's have a conversation about the context because we both love context. So how did we meet Copano? What is your recollection of our meeting? <laughs> Recollect? Oh, wow. Yes. No. How could I forget? Oh, my God. So I met Adiola at, um, at the art center that I work in, Voret. Um it was during the uh, big theater festival at uh, Voret, and there was a series of um, what were called big conversation circles. And one of them was being hosted by Isaiah Lopez, who is um, an American, Black American artist living in Brussels at the moment, but um, performs and presents work all over Europe. Um, and they were hosting a circle as part of the theater, um, theater festival at Voret. Um, and I don't know if you, I don't know if y'all want time, because like Isaiah had already started, and you and Sarah, this vision in red, lady in red, literally comes swanning in, sits at the circle with us, and we're talking about like, so Isaiah is like talking to us about like kind of like the the kind of like the black condition within the arts in Europe, and it's like a super super white circle. And somehow, I don't know how we got to this, but like we started historicizing like the, the kind of like the presence of black people in Europe and um, the, the, the relationship of Europe and Africa. And then Ariola at one point was like, does everyone know what the Berlin conference is? And like, you had a whole bunch of white people who were like, uh. <laughs> and she was like, mm. <laughs> okay, let me maybe take everyone to school for a moment and we'll talk about how Europe uh, cut up Africa and decided who would rule over it in 1813 and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so that was my first meeting with Adiola. And after that, I was like, okay, so auntie comes and she comes correct. <laughs> You're like, who is that auntie? <laughs> that auntie. No, no, you can <laughs> It's like, I'm scared though, guys. Because also me, I don't want to get cut, you know? <laughs> 
Wow, I'm a proper African auntie. Jeez, okay. We love to see it. We love to see it. Yeah. And we have worked together. So we sat there together. We made, we, we became like, okay, who's this one? And then you're like, hey, I'm Patrice. I'm such a cute one. You see? <laughs> <laughs> but after that, we've also worked together in Stress and Circle by Isaiah Lopez. Again, amazing uh, family here in Brussels. And it's been like, I think I, I like to say and I like to think that people, you don't connect to people so easily just like that. You connect with people because there's a reason, because we also both work from an ancestral place. We use our ancestral knowledge and wisdom around poetry, around art, and also we're both intellectual hoes. We just don't say it. Compano, hone your title. <laughs> Yeah, so it was, I mean, I feel like a part of me think that it was meant to be, even though I was thinking to wear that red jumpsuit today, but I was like, come on, don't do the most, relax. Full circle, we want the full circle. <laughs> I know, and since then it's been us being just like shouting each other out and different things that we do, but also just, I think allowing each other to kind of compliment in a way because the Saturnian me needs a Pisces to kind of be like, girl. It's okay to feel. It's okay to feel. And it's so funny. Sometimes like a father will come into my DM and try to make me cry. And I'm just like, I am not crying. Stop crying. <laughs> but yeah, so let us know your questions. I think somebody said in the previous chart that they want us to read something. I saw her, uh, and also like there's something in your DM, in your DM, Capano, apparently. There is something in my DM from Julianne Vigor, um, who I don't think is joining us, but is a friend I made many, many years ago. Um, I was doing a leadership conference when I was like 16 in America, and that's how we met, met and she's from mm. the Netherlands. Um, yeah, and she sent me something that she wrote a few weeks ago. Okay. Um, my dear, at a time when the world envelops itself in fear, we have no choice, we cannot be near. I ask you to walk, walk through the garden of your mind, yellow rose that smells so sweet, rising in intensity as the sun begins to heat. Damp dew on its petals you'll find, tap it with a finger, the droplets collect and bind. In the deepest depth of despair, beauty trails not far behind, nature is fair. Nature is kind. Won't you walk with me through the gardens of our minds? Hmm. Amazing. That's nice. I want to read that. Like, that's cute. Thank you for sharing that. And I am guessing people don't have questions and they've seen enough of our beautiful faces. And that's fantastic. Because I'm also hungry. <laughs> Like I'm also about to like go and take my amethyst and go and eat, okay? <laughs> uh, thank you so much. I think I wanted to say this as uh, auntie that I am. I'm going to own up to this title now. Thank you for doing this with us, all of you, for staying with us. An hour is a lot of time, so we appreciate your time. We appreciate your listening ears. We appreciate all the love that you to us this evening and we hope that this poetry have been good company in this on hour they kind of take you home or take you to your own self so thank you so much thank you we thank you so so much and from me adiola i would like to say i extend the energy of love the energy of healing the energy of nurture to all of you this evening but also forever Thank you. Mm. Pano? Yes, Auntie. I mean, you done said everything. <laughs> that was the closing <laughs> prayer. <laughs> like, we are going to eat. They're like, um, okay. But just a reminder that we'll be sharing all the um, uh, profiles of the poets that we read and their work and where you can find them in our stories after this. So do check it out. Um, and until next time, whenever that might be. Exactly. Until you... next time see you again and check our stories you'll find all the books that we shared and the arts of all the poets as has been said sending you so much love Oof.
Have a beautiful night. Bye. Keep tight. Come on. <laughs>